be distant may not be area wise physically distant means even the next room or having gone to the office like that so physically distant emotionally distant and psychologically mentally having some sort of distance and chronological distance for example there is a vidya known as arsha bashini arsha bashini deals with the communication with departed people like sant gyaneshwara vasishta vyasa kashyapa there is an art to speak with people so that is having a chronospatial distance that is they are living in a different uh, structure of space and they belonging to they are belonging to also a yeah, different chronological status they may be eternal but they belong to a different chronological status so subjective communication happens between people where there is mental repulsion and a small physical separation and the second thing is distant healing it happens to people where there is really a spatial distance number 2 and uh, number 3 it deals with unilateral healing unilateral healing means uh, without the knowledge or consent of the other person you are healing them by your thought process so all of these healing process cannot be uniformly maintained in each and everything a different system must be adopted you cannot uh, treat all people with all uh, uh, the same methodologies which you are going to adopt the third thing is unilateral in which they don't know or uh, they are not aware of that thing bilateral healing is when both of them are aware and they are in the same wavelength that is known as bilateral multilateral healing is for a same person number of people they are doing the healing process number of people doing for a single person for example if there is a national leader when there was a problem to the health of the king of thailand thousands of people i have seen them meditating and then uh, they are doing lot of procession march then they are doing some sacrifices in all temples and assembly halls when i was at thailand i could see it with my eyes likewise a multilateral healing is healing for a common noble worshipable beloved personality simultaneously or time variably done with uh, uh, same vigor and zeal by number of people and second thing is polylateral healing polylateral healing is done by a person for some other person for varieties of his problems for all round success for all the we used to say veer ya vijay ayur arogya drada gatra aishwarya sampatti rastu like that uh, polylateral healing is for the healing system of varieties the healing system of two types i will uh, describe it later and it is for the same person to have healing in lot of things not only physical but also mental professional financial cultural moral domestic and all other areas that is known as polylateral healing and healing is not confined with the disease alone that i am going to explain to you now and the next thing is very it is very simple it is known as uh, composite healing it is known as composite healing a person may be a warehouse of varieties of diseases even doctors can research and learn lot of the thing from such uh, patients and they can practice with new technology such people are also available they are the embodiment of diseases new diseases with the emerging technologies of diseases we are seeing lot of people and composite healing it deals with varieties of diseases on a same platform and mass healing for example there are people affected by tsunami there are people affected by malnutrition and infant mortality at ethiopia and somalia lot of people they are affected by terrorism and disruptivism and political instability and by imperialism lot of people are suppressed and civil wars are going in myanmar you know for the past so many decades mass healing so mass energy distribution to a mass people that is uh, thousands of people millions of people so we cannot do it in the same manner for example if you want to give food to the child then it will be crushed in the form of a semi fluid and it must be given and for a sick person different for a robustic person it is different for a marriage you cannot cook in a pressure cooker of 1.5 liters so the quantity and quality differs as per the receptivity status of the persons who are going to be the beneficiaries so healing is not equal for all that's what i want to say then there are uh, three major methods of healing one is uh, to an antagonistic person and anonymous person and three more things to relative a relative person intimate person there are some other things which i'll explain later one is anonymous person somebody is uh, just in unconscious mode and we are seeing somebody who is not known to us who is not heard to us in distress they are anonymous they are unconnected for them the address in energy and the distribution method is different antagonistic person may be our enemy or a non believer of antagonistic even to the healing process either to the healer or to the healing process or the major power of source of healing god antagonistic is of three types he may not believe the source of healing 
he may not be believing the mediator of healing he may not be believing believing the healing process itself either the process mediation of force whether the beliefs are not we are having a different type of medicine in which we can be ripunam api vatsalaha that is the name of rama so we can show that uh, ripunam api vatsalyam by practicing this type of healing for antagonistic persons then there are relative persons <coughs> relative persons relative transactive and intimate i want to say one thing and it may be a shock to you blessings that we give that we give for our relatives and blessings or wishes that we get from our relatives they don't have any power at all <laughs> your mother and father's blessings even they don't have power at all because what that benefits you from your father and mother is not just their instincts of being father and mother which is available in all biological kingdoms all instincts they have that instinct of uh, that of i have already told about the broadman areas in which attachment towards their offsprings is very common with all of these people and that is momentary in animals and insects and that is continuing as a lineage you cannot see the father uncle nephew niece and grandfather in animal kingdoms so it is having an attachment which is momentary peripheral and transient then it is watered up so but the instinct is that your father and mother they are having lot of other qualities like benevolence charity purity erudition and other thing that is the driving engine this is a very important thing you have to note down there may be lot of your people in transactive and intimate areas they will bless you for example all mothers in spite of the nature and response from the offspring they used to bless only and any beggar or anybody whom you put some arms they will bless you that you will become the king of nepal or india so it is very common with these people how long they are going to work out can we say that totally they are futile or they powerful they are having dependent efficacy what is it known as it is known as the rule of dependent efficacy if your mother and father they are having affection or desire that you must live a comfortable life that is a compartment that cannot drive by itself if your mother and father they do some puja punaskara or nobility charity erudition if there are other qualities which are driving engines this wishes can be the supportive compartments or even if you receive benedictions the so called benedictions from lot of people in the society out of your transaction interaction or inter uh, reliability or any other thing those things are just compartments for example you have put some arms to some person you have fed some person uh, who is uh, subjected to hunger and all of those things five units 10 units all of these compartments they will be waiting for you and whenever you are uh, wished by a really translucent and transcendental personality a spiritual authority who is having a driving force then all these compartments 10 units 5 units 15 units they are known as dependent uh, efficacy i have already told they are not having independent efficacy or self propelled efficacy all of these good charities that you do from powerless people whatever you receive they also they will be in your account but they cannot be materialized and commercialized and visualized unless it is driven by a major provincial unit acting upon it so intimate healing whenever you deal with an intimate person unless you have some other skills of healing you are mere intimacy i am her, her mother and she is my daughter that only cannot become the requisite force for getting the healing that intimacy is in turn an obstructing force for the healing process either of you or of a doctor himself so relative and intimative healing they are powerful only if the relation has some transcendentality and divinity if the intimacy is non transactive non biological and mere instinctive if they are mere